Hey guys! Well, it's the end of June and it's the end of my office, my home office organization series. I am thrilled today to be sharing a final look, an after tour. Um, it's not necessarily a strictly organizational video, it's more just a look. Um, because it's been requested, I understand it was kind of disjointed showing you just bits and pieces of my room as I work through it. Um, that's the method of organization that works for me when I'm working in a larger space, is to break it up into smaller, more manageable pieces. Um, it worked well for me for this project because it seemed like kind of a big deal and I was ready to really dig in into it and uh, it just it went by real well. I mean, I spaced it out, I took my time with it because I've you know got other things going on in my life as most people do, but uh, I am thrilled with it and I am so happy to be able to share the tour with you today and I did my best filming on my little rolling tripod guy. Um, I'm sorry if it's a little bumpy in places, there's carpet and things I had to kind of maneuver around and I'm still learning, but um, let's uh, Let's jump in and have a look. I'm standing to the door to my home office here, which also doubles as my craft room. Um, it's a multi-purpose space, and you know that you've been watching my videos. So I thought I'd give you guys an overall look because, um, you know, it's kind of been disjointed little clips here and there. Winnie's going to give us a warm welcome. Uh, and let's get started. So first thing right off the bat, you see a wreath on my door. This was sent to me. It was a gift from a subscriber who has an Etsy shop. This is Tony from Casabella Reads. Made this for me. I love the little bees on it. It's super cute. I'll have links on the coordinating blog post for products that I mentioned in this video, as I do with all the other videos. Right away, you can see my built-ins. Um, I had designed these custom-built when we moved into the home six years ago. And there's two bookshelves and cabinets flanking a window seat. And then we'll just kind of roll on into the room here. I think this will give you a better sense of the size of the room and sort of the placement of everything. Um, at least I hope it does. And I'm sorry if my camera has trouble focusing here and there, but I did my best. Of course, Winnie has spaces in this room where she has things. There's a Martha Stewart. Um, Bone Quilt Snuggler Dog Bed. It's still available at PetSmart. And uh, Paws Creations Pet Adjustable Water Stand with Modified Base. I get asked about that a lot. Uh, those are handmade by husband and wife team. Very wonderful products if you have a dog that drinks from water stand. And here is the craft room bathroom, which I did post a video on maybe about a year ago. Um, here I'm standing behind the wall. Here I have little hooks that I've had that for a long time. I bought it at Cost Plus World Market maybe about nine years ago. And it has some of my aprons, craft aprons, and the apron I use for when I wash Winnie. I'm going to go into more detail in the bathroom in a later you know, later in the video, I want to do the room tour first, but we'll come back here and I will give you a detailed look um, because I did update it a little bit. Um, just a little bit since that last video, but I will give you a more focused look at that. So let's continue with the rest of the space first. I'm going to kind of swing the camera around back towards the door. So now we're facing the door that you know you, we entered through. You can see the built-ins again with my books, and I did videos on all of these spaces individually. There will be links to all of those below with coordinating blog posts as well. There's little Winnie. She got in her little snuggler bed. Very cutie patootie there. She's got two beds in this room because she's spoiled rotten, <laughs> but she's not rotten. So um, in this office, I mentioned before, I have all Pottery Barn furniture. The chairs, the uh, bar stools, the desks, the project table, even the shelves and the wallpaper organizers on the back wall there are all from Pottery Barn. Um, and the main furniture is from the Pottery Barn Bedford collection, and it's in the antique white color. And then those chairs that are tucked into the desk in the back are no longer available, the exact models, but those are swivel desk chairs, and they have slightly different models available now. Um, here you can see the right side of my built-ins on the uh, far side of my picture window here that looks out into the front of our house uh, over the street. Um, and uh, these are my two dedicated workstations. The desk on the left is my grooming desk, 
and the desk on the right is a sewing desk at the moment and then I have three Pottery Barn Port House pendants. These are small pendants hanging. I got that wrong in the original video that I posted. They're actually from Pottery Barn. Still available, by the way. There will be links in the blog post. And then tucked in the corner there is my craft closet. I'm not going to go into detail on that here because I did a whole video on that. Link below if you're interested. And then swinging around you can see the main part of the room, which is my main desk, all my wall storage shelves, uh, my project table, my project area, and all that jazz. And then looking back again, you can see the left side of my built-ins, the craft room bathroom back there, and the door leading into my home office. And if you're curious, the rug on the floor is from L.O. Bean. It's a chenille braided rug in sandbar. It's still available. I've had it for six years. It, it's kept up great, and they still have it. That I just focused on was the project table, um, and I have some Martha Stewart uh, cutting mats on top of it. And then here are my Container Store Bright Stock Home Paper Drawers, which I keep Winnie's bow collection in. I added a little bowl on top where I keep bows that I need to um, re-stiffen with uh, you know, fabric stiffener. And I actually added plastic nubby feet to the bottom of these drawers, so now they're really secure and they don't move at all because I decided to keep them and they're labeled, as you can tell. And I'm kind of thinking now that I'm really going to turn this area into a camera, like a photo taking area. I've actually started storing some of my little lenses. I have this daily system from Pottery Barn components up here. This little shelf area is great. Perfect size for um, holding lenses. So I'm kind of thinking of transitioning that. But I'll let you guys know in the future if I decide to go ahead and do that. Again, if you want a closer look at the closet, I recommend checking out the video dedicated to that link below. Um, but I do have my, my new shabby chic uh, curtain, that sheer curtain panel from Target, which I love. And it was, I don't know, 20 bucks, and it's cute as a button. Um, and it really just helps kind of camouflage the unsightly lighting equipment I store in there. Looking back, here's my project area. I have the Pottery Barn um, wall mounted craft organizers. They're available online only. They are available right now. They match the furniture perfectly and I keep my wrapping paper and some wrapping components on there. And then I have another desk here with two filing cabinets under it. Desktop I mean. And the great thing about Pottery Barn Collection is all the pieces are sort of interchangeable. I have two bar stools under the project table here. They're from Pottery Barn as well, and they are the Napoleon Backless bar stools if you're interested. And on top there is a carousel that is the Jet Max or Making Memories desktop carousel. And I will be posting a blog post on that. I promise I kind of forgot, but I will get that up as soon as possible. Then here we're focused in on my corner desk, again Pottery Barn. I added a couple little components. Under my hutch I just tucked a couple of things, decorative things, and then this little dish I have with nail polish I want to blog about. And then in the space I wasn't sure what to do with um, on the hutch, this is like paper storage, I decided to store my project management notebook and work notebook up there. It's a good place to keep them um, because I tend to work on them on my desk. And I also have my most reached for lotion, um, some camera components like I reach for a lot and some cuticle oil. I just added a few extra things that I'd share. Here I have more daily system components from Pottery Barn that I covered with paper um, to make sort of a pin board. And then I did decide to remove the trash bins I had under my desk because it just seemed kind of excessive. I really was only using the ones under my project desk. And that made room for this little tub that I bought at the container store um, that I keep um, you know, upcoming video projects in. And I'm thinking of buying another one to tuck on the other side uh, next to Winnie's Tiger Dreams trundle bed there um, for blog things I want to photograph. Over the desk I have my Pottery Barn Holman shelves and I actually went ahead and filled these three white bins that were empty before with it's my stationery um, and I kind of just wanted to show you the little bits and things I changed here and there and I labeled those accordingly um, so that works out great. And the rest of the desk I pretty much kept as is. I have my little computer bags tucked in between the desk and the lateral file cabinet, also from Pottery Barn. And here's another look at my project table, just to give you a sense of the space um, and how everything kind of fits. So I hope, I'm hoping you're getting a better sense of things here. I love my wall shelves and I have been kind of moving around what's in the bins here and there. Um, I like being able to be flexible with my storage and my organization. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of back out of the room here while swiveling around giving you more of a 
you know, a look at things. Um, the space does seem bigger in person, I must say, than it does in pictures or video. I think that's just how video works, you know, taking pictures with things with lenses. Um, but it, as you can see, it is an ample space and I love it. It is just such a breath of fresh air to work and be in there now. And uh, I couldn't be happier with the outcome of it. So that is my office craft room tour for you guys. A long time coming. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you the bathroom. So looking at the bathroom here, back for a tour, um, I'm holding the camera so it might be a little less steady. I apologize if that's kind of off. Pudding. But I'm doing my best. Um, here I have a stand-in shower. I think that's what it's called. And I put in a heavy-duty plastic utility tub from Home Depot that I use uh, to wash Winnie. And I just stand there and I use the hand nozzle for the shower. And that's how I give Winnie a bath. It's really more of a shower than a bath, to be honest. Um, but this is great because I can just pull it out if I ever we ever need to use this as a, like an actual shower for a person that's not secured in or anything. It's just got I put rubber stoppers on it so it wouldn't move. But I have it filled with Winnie's grooming uh, bathing things, excuse me, um, because it's not being used as a shower at the moment, so um, it's okay for me to leave the things in there. And those are just some of her implements. I did a whole series on her channel about grooming her if you're interested. Link to her channel below. I have two wall cabinets that I purchased from Target online. I think they're only available online. They're both called the Neil Wall Cabinets, but I will put links to them on the blog because they're separate. Uh, and I'm just using the one over the toilet here to you know, have some um, nail polish extras and some of my owl collection. And the one on the other side is empty, but it's for display. I haven't figured out what to put there yet, but I have some of my Swarovski crystal bears there. And then I have Winnie's towels and uh, just some, you know, towels for general craft or office use hanging on the wall uh, on hooks. Hidden behind the door, I have my very large nail polish collection. I have three stacking uh, wall racks and I will try to find a link to them and post that in the blog post as well and I have a fourth one on the wall but I've been doing my best I've really whittled down my collection I'm trying to get it to just the three that's my goal so I'm getting there it's taking a little time but uh, I like having it in the bathroom because it is um, camouflaged behind the door which I keep open when it's not in use um, and I like that it's you know behind the door but it's also got its own spot and then there is one sink here with a nice mirror and I have a cute owl clock. And under the sink, I keep kind of extra grooming supplies for Winnie, paper products. And then I have two drawers. The one on the bottom has some nail things. And then on the top drawer has extra towels and, you know, cleaning devices and extra plugins and things for scents from Bath & Body Works, sponges, that sort of thing. Um, and... Uh, that is the entire bathroom. It really functions well as an office slash craft room bathroom and works great for Winnie's grooming needs as well. I hope you enjoyed coming along on this journey with me. It was real pleasure for me to share with you. Uh, and fear not, I will be back with more organizational projects. I'm taking kind of a lighter load this summer, um, but I do have some things in mind coming up, including an updated look at my upstairs linen closets, which I've been kind of working on here and there. And my big project for the summer, uh, for July, is actually to redo my pantry a bit. Kind of a, an overhaul. Maybe not an overhaul, but just a revisiting. <laughs> but those will be the main projects coming up in the beginning of the summer. And I have some projects uh, when we're out in Utah that I'm going to do at the house out there for a little variety uh, that I've been wanting to do anyway. So there's some stuff on the radar. Um, next week will be another uh, Q&A video. I'm doing this, it's going to film the second half with your Twitter questions. I already have the questions, but there will be more opportunities later in the year for your organizational related questions that you might have for me. Um, but I'm going to answer the Twitter questions I didn't get a chance to in my last OLJ Q&A. Um, so that'll be up next week and then I'll be back with new projects. And um, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the series and I look forward to sharing more with you. In the meantime, be well, have a great summer or winter if you happen to live in Australia and uh, until next time, so long. Bye you guys.